All right, hey everybody, T Mac here, <clears throat> and uh, pretty excited. Got some uh, new lumber here. I tell you what, where I work, we got some big equipment that comes in, and they come in giant crates. This one was like eight, nine feet long, five foot high, you know, and I I want that. So <laughs> the uh, plant manager said, "Sure, take it." So got a pretty good load of lumber here. Take a peek at it. All brand new lumber that they was just going to throw away, screws and all. So I got it, and I know on this channel and uh, my Trapping with T Mac channel, I'm pretty sure I talk about it. Uh, I, you know, been trying to get into putting up furs for a while now. Been many years I've wanted to, wanted to. Uh, it's a big expense getting those uh, boards. And your coyote boards your you know coon boards whatever you're putting up you they most people like as far as NAFA goes uh, the uh, wooden boards so I figured you know what I'm gonna try with these uh, it's not the preferred wood that they say in the videos or whatever but I'm gonna try it out see how it works and uh, I've got a whole bunch of two by fours here this is all Looks like quarter inch or maybe three eighths plywood. Uh, some of this is going to go out in the woods and be a blind we're going to put up. some boards I just did enough to get the furs out of my freezer and start with them uh, just gonna try them out they look pretty good got a couple raccoon boards here I got a couple otter boards bobcat a couple coyote a couple muskrat and even had some room on one of the boards for a red squirrel and, uh, but I had a couple questions on measurements and stuff and if you just Google uh, fur auctions, there's uh, the FHA, the Fur Harvesters Auction. NAFA has boards that uh, I mean, you just print them out, and it tells you what kind of board you need for what animal. It's all a lot of it's downloadable. You just click on it, and it downloads to your computer. Uh, and they got all kinds of different, I mean, good stuff on there. Some really good knowledge, uh, skinning putting in your uh, exam windows like on your otter uh, 
you know, just a lot of good stuff, and it's free. All you gotta do is download it. So that's where I got the measurements, and they turned out pretty good. And now that I've made them, I can just use these for a pattern if I need any more. Uh, don't think I'll need any more right now, but they turned out pretty good. And the tool I found the most helpful was this. I think it's a wood wood rasp. Man, this thing, I found this in my dad's shop, and it really worked great for uh, softening these edges, giving them a round look without having to do a whole bunch of sanding. That thing worked great. Of course, I used a wood burner to put, you know, RN for raccoon, RS for red squirrel, just to kind of label them so I know what they are. But anyway, it was a fun experience, and uh, hopefully... One of these days, I'll have to make a whole bunch more. I get that much fur. I doubt it. Maybe one of these days. <laughs>